La Leche League for me is a human <laughs> to human support. Uh, when you hear some when you somebody isn't actually sitting with you and listening to you and and hearing you as well. And obviously able to provide a, an extensive information with a evidence based scientific backup. Um, it's that, that's I think that's the that's the essence of it. I think a lot of the Leche League um, people that can't have problems with feeding and that's why they can't really. Yeah. And then a lot of us have had problems because we were on for the top box and we said yeah you, know, you, you just there are things you can do to help increase your supply. Yeah. But new issues always come up as well and it is like everyone says it is a journey and you'll go through stages or phases of um, different problems. Uh, so I think just kind of being in that group where you feel like you can say you can say whatever you want um, and kind of gives you that confidence. I think the encouragement is is really key. I don't think I would have been able to you know to keep breastfeeding if I hadn't had that encouragement from other mothers and you know and understood that things get better and, and understood that there was help available out there. As soon as you do come, you do realise just how open it is and supportive it is and how a lot of people feel the same. Well, just come because it's, it's completely open. You don't have to talk or say anything if you don't want to. There's a lot to take back with you because yes. it's, a, it's, it's a lead discussion anyway. It's just nice to have a cup of tea and listen to it. You can just be quiet for the first time and just listen to everyone else talking. Um, I would say come, get out of the house, come. I, I'd say the same, she's two now and, and she's still breastfeeding. And I think a lot of that can be attributed to uh, support from the Leche League. It's definitely worked for us anyway, in the end. We had to persevere, but um, we got there in the end.